Are we on? So people keep telling me all the time, Salah, Mane, overrated. Well, the Salah part more than the Mane part, but well, he, I think he's only one goal away from beating Cristiano Ronaldo's um, Premier League all-time goal scoring record. So yeah, um, but no, you'll see here from the front three in red. Obviously, on the left hand side here, we normally have Mane, and on the right hand side, we normally have Salah. Why does Salah and Mane get so much joy and get so many goals and assists? Is because they like to play inverted. So, Robertson on the left hand side here and Trent create all the width for Liverpool. The reason for this is when they like to push nice and high on the wide ball here. Where they like to make runs in behind is inadvertently. So they might start necessarily wide. For example, Mane in this instance. And then he would like to normally find his way in and around here. So he might start wide and then really create this option in behind between the right back and the right side of the centre back there. The same with Salah. Normally Trent will look for a ball in behind. He'll normally look to play this ball right in between here, between the left side centre back and the left, uh, the left back as well. Salah will normally create his space around here which will then force the player out there, which then creates a major gap in space for Salah to then run into. Why do they get so much joy from starting wide and then coming inside? People say all the time, Firmino's terrible, Firmino doesn't get enough goals, Firmino doesn't get enough assists. That's not the whole point of his game. Effectively what we see from Firmino, he normally likes to play in between the lines. So in between the lines of the defence here and the midfield. Or drops in between these two holes here. Between the two sitting midfielders and the one attacking midfielder there. So wherever he picks up someone between whether it be these two here or the attacking midfielder here. One of them has to come short to him, which then creates, like I said, these little pockets between the lines where you can get the likes of Salah and Mane to really start wide and then come inwards to score goals and create opportunities within the danger zone as well. When Liverpool don't have the ball, normally, if well, let's say for example, the ball is on this side of the pitch with the right centre back, Mane will cut off these passing lanes here. What we don't want to see is the ball getting played right through here from Mane. So normally what we'll see is we'll see Genie Wijnaldum in this instant or Jordan Henderson really come to push high and suffocate in these areas. Or we'll see Robertson play an inverted side there. The reason why Liverpool can play this way and let's say for example they lose the ball there, the opposition, Liverpool have the bodies always normally a triangle or a diamond of three around the ball, no matter which side the ball gets played to. Let's say, for example, the ball starts with the left side centre back here, and then it looks to get played into the left midfielder's feet here. We have, as soon as that ball goes, that's the trigger for Salah, Firmino, Henderson to really suffocate the ball at the player's feet. Because where does the player have to go? If then the player wants to play one ball out here for the left back, he might be able to play it first time. We have enough numbers in these positions to be able to suffocate that ball and then cut out the play. Diagonal runs are the number one thing Liverpool do so effectively well. And since they brought in the likes of Salah and Mane, they've been able to do this even more so. So you'll look here. What they'll try to do is, let's say for example, we have the ball here, oh no sorry, let's say for example, Firmino's come in short to show for the ball, which then drags maybe for example a midfielder out, which then leaves a major gap in here. What they'll look to try and do is, for example, Salah in this instance will try and make an inverted run, inverted run from the outside in which then draws the defender away, which then we can use our width 
from Trent on this side. So no matter where the ball goes, let's say for example it's on the left hand side as well, and Liverpool look to win the ball, you've got the likes of Mane and Salah here. Mane will try and bring the defender across. If he does so, you've got the likes of forward runs from Wijnaldum, but you've also got the major overlap run from Robertson, which then can create opportunities. Players can then come in and join in the attack and see if we can score. Because the likes of Mane and Salah play so narrow, and then obviously when Firmino likes to drop deep for the ball from, say, Thiago or Fabinho in here, as soon as he decides to come, you've got one, one, two players just here. One wants to go, one will then cover in to obviously stop this overload from Mane and Salah. As soon as Firmino here decides to come in short, you've got the likes of Trent and Robertson from the left back and right back position that will look to then exploit the space. The right back and left back respectively then both have to drop back with them. If so, that's fine. We can look to play to feet and then, then create a 2v1 on the opposite side. Like we spoke about before, Liverpool will look to play and go inside. Obviously, does that right back decide to come with Mane or does he stay? If so, can we get a ball in nice and quick and then create the runs from deep in behind? Is it hard for teams to adapt to that? Yes. There's a reason why Liverpool have been so good for the last three, four years. Obviously, it's so hard to defend against this. There's a lot of physically demanding aspects. Do players want to go with the runner? Can you get players to go with the runners for the full 90 minutes? Why do Liverpool normally win games in the 75th and onwards minute? Is it that physical demanding for players on opposition? Do I think that other teams will slowly adapt to this way of playing? Yes. Is it a great way to play? Yes. Is it hard to coach? Bloody hell yes. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that analysis on Liverpool's front three and exactly how Liverpool can play in the offensive third. Please leave a comment below if you enjoyed this video. Drop it a like, subscribe as well. In the comment section below, please write exactly what team you want me to do next. It could be anyone, it could be Oldham, it could be Reading, it could be Oxford, it could be Wrexham, it could be Yeovil, I don't care. Whoever it is, drop it down below and I'll be sure to make a video on it soon.